will be using flutterflow.io we can build faster application using it and we can customize pretty much everything as you can see so you have to just log in or maybe create a new account so once you are logged in either you can create a new project or you can go to the marketplace here in the marketplace i'll choose the best template suited for my application so i'll search about it i found one template i'll just select it and i add a new project using this template basically and now i am all set up with this template now let's give it a name and then let's go through the id in itself so first thing which we see is the components basically all the commonly used elements are there and then the second thing which we see is basically the widget tree in itself which we can use third thing is like all the pages fourth is the storyboard and there are a lot of other options which we see throughout this and now let's talk about the api calls here we can define api groups and api calls then assets then we have custom code then designs and then app details so design is basically theme and here in the app details we can provide initial page and all the information so now let's start with our first page which is start page and we will change the basic details like the names and everything like the text to match our design so we will change it using the id on the right side there are all the properties which you can change like in text for text fields and we will also change the ids because those are the representation of that particular widget and then um, we will delete unuseful information and then we will change it let's say start date and date and uh, we will specify the date of travel here and uh, what we also want is that we don't want text field so we will choose a calendar rather so we can go to the components we can search for calendar and we can pick those calendar and then we can modify this calendar as well for our need like we can add some padding and also we want it to be a weekly calendar rather than a month view so we can go and set some properties apart from setting all these colors so you can go here in the properties and you can change it to week view and then you will get this nice week view for both of those those in we will do these changes and uh, then once you are done then uh, we can make it read only all these text fields so that uh, people don't have to uh, write anything here and then you can specify your budget then other text field which will be having maximum line as one so that the uh, budget is like as simple as 500 1000 something like that and we'll just change the description a little bit and then we will delete all these uh, extra fields we just need one more thing which is activities or interest uh, so we'll add an interest slash activities and we will have this uh, multiple uh, options to select so we can have like adventure we can have like shopping uh, cuisine nature and all those things now you have to also allow multi select for all these options so that uh, people can select multiple option and last generate plan let's change it to generate travel plan and then we can change other ids and uh, all those things uh, one thing which we want to change is the image then we can go to unsplash and we can pick an image like Taj Mahal image and we can just copy the URL and change it over here and then we can try different devices and it looks good on all of those finally. Now we have to work on our second page this GPT flow page we don't need it so delete it and now let's create a new page which we can call a travel page and we can choose a template again from here one of these templates and we can name it and then you can see that this looks nice which has an image and all those things background image we can change it we can also change some information over here like we did in the previous page like the destination and uh, the budget and all those things this is basically the final page we will see after generating the travel plan so we are doing some changes over here and there we are adding some uh, inputs here like the start date and end date and all those kind of things and our second page is done almost here now let's uh, fix some bugs which we will see here so here you can see all the bugs like there are some action let's delete those second we can see if the, some widget configuration is wrong we will fix that and then there is some custom code which we will just need to reload and that's it and now we will add some action to this generate travel plan so we can choose something from here so we will add action and we will go to navigate action and we can navigate to certain page and we can see this storyboard right now it is not having anything now we will set the initial page start page and then it will connect these two pages together now we can run it test run it and then we can see that uh, while it is running um, then we will see uh, we will add some data we have just 26 minutes as test run and now we can add all this information and then uh, we will specify the budget and let's click on generate plan after all this and we can see a new page so basically everything is working.
now we have to add some more action for calendar for example we can some add some action so that the text field is filled so on that selected we can set some form field uh, we can set the start day using widget state widgets so again we will choose the date time format and then we can set the value for start date similar thing we can do for end date as well uh, and the, again we will set some action using the, our widget state and then it will be done as well and the when then we will set uh, the budget and then we can do something on generate travel plan rather than just going to the next page. Now in travel page we have to show some information so for, for that we need parameters we can define them most of those will be string like destination, start date, end date, uh, we need budget and we also need the travel plan which will be the API data which we will get so we can define all these parameters using the top right bar and uh, once you are done you can add all those parameters and we are good to go then. Now it will show some error on the first page because we are not passing this parameter so we will pass this parameter in the actions there is a pass button we can use that and we will pass all these parameters and we can assign all the values using the widget state with all those IDs which we defined for these particular widgets and then we need a travel plan at the end which we don't have right now so let's go to the local page state variables and define a new variable which will be for prompt so we will name it as travel prompt so uh, this travel prompt is basically we will create and then we can can also pass the travel plan using the API value which we will get so we'll do this just right now after passing the parameter so now what we want is that we want to create the travel prompt so we can add another action and we can use some update page state and we can combine text for this travel prompt so it will be like a combination of text like generate a travel itinerary based on some destination and start day and day and uh, we can also add the budget here uh, there will be a tricky part that uh, after adding the budget we have to specify the interested in activities and that's a list so we can create a custom function which can give us a string from that list so we will join them so we will return basically we can join using the comma so that will be our separator and uh, we can return this entire activities as a string so this function we can name it something so for example we can uh, name it here get string from list and then we can use this function from here and that will give us the, our combined text and then we will complete our prompt this prompt is totally creative uh, you can modify it uh, based on your own personal uh, like findings or interest so um, this is the prompt which we have created and uh, now once you are done with the prompt you can confirm this particular thing and then you can set it to no rebuild we don't want to rebuild it now once we are done with it now we have to add another action for api calls and we can just call choose the backend api call and the same group which we know and it has some variables like api key and prompt now we can go to the api call section and we can see the prompt and the url which it is hitting and we can check the body and other variables and we can do some settings here and there and once you are done with the settings now you have to specify your api key which you will get from openai website and now the prompt for prompt we have to create a json which is the based on the api request and then we will use a custom function for this json where we have some role and content and content is basically prompt and then we can set it directly now we have three actions and in the backend call action we will get some response let's call it chat response either it will be a successful or be a failure so we will add a condition and either it will be successful or fail so based on that we will do something so for example if it is successful then we will navigate to travel page otherwise we will show a dialogue which will be another action we will show some message let's say something went wrong and then we can display some uh, like random custom message and then if it is successful rather than going to travel page first of all we will get the response and we will pass it to travel page so let's say we will update page state again and we will have another variable let's say travel plan based on json body we can set its content and now we are ready for the next page where we can pass this information now on the travel page if you will see we have all static data we will change it to like dynamic data we will change all these variables using the parameters and we are already passing those parameters from the previous page so just let's change it all and uh, we have this particular thing now we can do some ui customization 
and based on those customization it will look better now and we can also add list view rather than a uh, column and then we can modify a little bit the custom code now we are running the app and this is the app running over here we will add let's say Kashmir we will set some dates here we will set some budget over here let's call it 1000 and then we will set some activities and now we are generating the travel plan for us and once we have the output you can see it's it's a pretty cool uh, day by day itinerary for us which can be very handy for us right now let's do some final ui fixes into this so first thing is this button on top of it we want to go back so we will do that and second thing is opacity of this image we will fix it so that we have a better image and then the third thing is the color of this uh, budget text which we can improve and we can change the color from this uh, panel and uh, we can set it to let's say greenish and then it looks good and um, then uh, this icon button also change the color to black and this is now fine in the second page or the first page rather we can set some start date and and date text so that looks a little bit legit and then the second thing we can do is that we can change some colors and also let's set some initial date to this start date initial value and same for the end date and then i think we should be good after doing all these changes and once we are done with this let's run this application again and then let's see what is the output now let's try roam and then let's set the dates and then the budget and some activities and let's generate the travel plan based on that and finally once we do that we have this roam we can change the background image dynamically also so we can do some customizations it's all up to you and the entire full tutorial is also available on this channel guys so do check it out i hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial of Flutterflow. how easy it was right it is fun please explore Flutterflow and don't forget to subscribe and explore and do great stuff